Hey guys, long time no speak. I hope we're all keeping well. Um, I just wanted to come to you um, and give you a little bit of a introduction to our brand new 50-3 series. So you may be familiar already with the IFP 50-2 series, but what we're going to look at today is our new 50-3 series. So my name is Louis Fisher, if you don't already know. I'm an EdTech specialist at ViewSonic UK. Let's have a look together. So let's have a quick look at the snapshot of the IFP 50-3 series. So some of you who may have already encountered the 9850-3 will know that this came out in January. However, we were waiting for the rest of the range to come out in increments from then. So as you can see on this little timeline we've got along the bottom, we've got our 86 inch um, device that's coming out in September, so the end of this month, the 75 coming out at the end of this month, and the 65 and the 55, which will be available from the end of next month. So something that's going to be sort of ongoing. Um, and as we said before, it's kind of nice incremental steps to where we're going. Now, the things we're going to keep um, a look at today, some of the enhancements. So we've jam packed the Dash 3 series with a ton of enhancements um, that are a massive upgrade on the previous model that we had. We're going to focus a little bit on the ergonomic interactive interface. So we've got a brand new interface, which is really nice and clean and easy to use. We've got some real enhancements to the wireless presentation, and we've actually added in our own device management, which works for entity users for our MyViewboard software. So those of you that are familiar with ViewSonic already will know that with purchase of one of our boards, you will get wrapped in a entity license, which essentially will register everybody in your business, everybody on your site to a full premium license um, for the software. As most of you may have seen already in previous videos throughout the coronavirus crisis, so obviously as it, as it continues, this entity license is entirely free for users. So there's no additional cost on top of what you would pay for if you were to buy um, some hardware from ViewSonic, you would receive that entity license. So let's have a look at some of the key features and upgrades on the new Dash 3 series. So first and foremost, we've completely changed the interface. So for example, going back to the home screen, this is the one that you might be familiar with, the current models, so the IFP, 50 series dash two the previous models to that the android home page interface looks very much like the one you're seeing on the left we've completely changed the user interface so that it looks a little bit more sharp and easy to use and perhaps a little bit more bit more modern as well what we've also done is we've changed the app drawer so previously as you can see it looked like it does on the left hand side again we've changed it again so the navigation still stays on the desktop display it's still really really easy to use you can still drag and drop um, apps onto your favorites bar for example but it just means it has a kind of nicer feel to it than perhaps what we might have had with previous models one thing we've also upgraded is the side toolbar now with the old side toolbar while there were some really useful tools for example the shortcuts to my view board overlay digital pens free screen and all the extra tools with timers and that kind of stuff so really useful in boardroom meetings and classrooms and that kind of thing we've actually added a few extra bits to um, the side toolbar there. So one thing I'm going to focus on specifically is the recorder app. Now, most of you know that with the coronavirus crisis, a huge proportion of the population have been either working from home, teaching from home, learning from home. What that's meant, of course, is that the majority of practices that were previously happening in person face to face has now obviously changed and there's a lot more remote working. One of the things we encountered hugely from things like school specifically was the inability for lessons to be transferred from a teacher's classroom or a teacher's home to all their individual pupils. So one thing we've added in this time to hopefully help with this particular problem is we've actually added a recorder app. Now, those of you that are familiar with my view board itself will know that you can use recording within my view board um, when you're actually physically delivering a lesson or a presentation or whatnot. What we've actually done is we've added this to the Android as well. So it actually covers everything on the entire screen, not just what's being recorded when you're using your my view board windows. So if we just click on to our next set of features as well. We've also added something that I think is a huge game changer when using these devices. So we've actually added an interactive user guide app, which essentially helps us with transitioning to that new user interface. Now, I really like these things. It's a little bit like a wizard that you may be familiar with if you've been using Microsoft apps or that kind of stuff. But previously when receiving a ViewSonic screen, 
obviously we were really good in helping you with training manuals and that kind of stuff but there was no inbuilt app to help you figure out how to use the board to its best ability so what we have added in is this kind of wizard app and essentially what this will do is it will guide you through everything on the board so it will help you with monitoring the new interface it will help you with managing all the different bits and bobs and hopefully will help add value to everything that you're doing uh, when you're using a viewsonic view board We've also changed the way we do updates. So previously, you'd have to manually have a look at how your updates were run on the Android itself. Obviously, as you know, the My View Board updates occur uh, automatically and prompt you automatically. We've now added this feature in for the Android side of the View Boards as well. So first and foremost, what you can actually do is you can set your system directly to just auto update so that, so that every time an update's available, what the board will do is it will simply update that for you automatically. Alternatively, you can set it yourself to manually update where you can check on certain times when you want it to happen. And also you can set a schedule so that it comes up with specific um, updates at those particular times. So again, the updates are sort of more in control um, of the end user. There is going to be less need for end users to have to reach out to technical teams such as um, ones that view Sonic to help you with the kind of updating and stuff as this will all occur organically. One thing that's another game changer with the hardware this time is Windows inking support. So one of the things that was missing previously from the old um, ViewSonic view boards was the ability to integrate all the Microsoft Windows tools whilst using all the Microsoft Office apps. Now those are integrated. So for example, when using Office apps, what you can do is you can do the annotations, you can write, you can draw and basically integrate all the different um, features that you may be familiar with when using those Microsoft Office apps by using it from hardware directly. Now again, going back to how the coronavirus has changed the way we do things, wireless screen sharing has become a humongous factor in everything that we do in the offices, uh, in schools, in universities, all that kind of stuff. So what we've tried to do with our new view board is we've tried to create a more agnostic solution for wireless screen sharing. So essentially what we've done is we've packed in as much as we can to ensure that no matter what device, whether you're a guest, whether you're signed in on the network, whether you're using a different network, you'll still be able to wirelessly screen share. So for example, what we've done is we've added several different um, channels of how we can wirelessly screen share. We've made it compatible with Windows, we've made it compatible with Macs, we've also made it compatible with Chromes. As you may have seen previously on the old view boards, Vcast was the kind of go-to tool which, whilst really, really good um, and useful, did also require that network download. So you did have to have Vcast downloaded. So whilst that feature is still available and it still has the great feature with having touchback, whereas some of the other things do not, there are some other features now that have been added to ensure that this screen sharing is absolutely seamless no matter where you are in the world, what network you're on, etc. So first and foremost, we've actually added in a My View Board display. So now you can wirelessly screen share directly from a view board to another view board anywhere in the world. So if you're on a network where you've got several view boards, you can actually wirelessly screen share between the boards seamlessly. We've got Apple AirPlay again. We've got Windows Miracast again. And of course, we've got that Vcast app, which allows us to be a little bit agnostic in terms of using wireless screen sharing from all these different apps. Now, while Vcast requires the download, Miracasting and Apple AirPlay will work immediately from your Apple or your Windows device without the need to download anything or set anything up within your network. What that means, of course, is that any external guests that may not have the time um, or may not have been briefed earlier to download Vcast will still be able to wirelessly screen share completely seamlessly with the new Vboards. Another thing we've added in, which is a huge feature, is our device management. So this is something we didn't have previously, we've added very, very recently. So what this actually allows us to do is remotely manage our view boards. What it also allows us to do is broadcast messages, images, and videos remotely. So for example, if I'm the IT head, what I can actually do is I can remotely manage all the boards on my network from my own laptop. So that might involve, as pre-mentioned, messaging, imaging, videos, device management in terms of setting them on and off, updating, all that kind of stuff. What you can also do now is you can actually install and uninstall apps remotely, which again is a game changer for larger networks. One thing that's worth mentioning 
is whilst we're bringing out this fantastic Dash 3 series, we've also got a great product still remaining. The IFP7530 series, which is a limited stock, is essentially a 75 inch view board that is interactive in the same fashion and very similar to the spec of the IFP50 series with a lower price point. The caveat is we only have it as a one-off while stocks last. So whilst the, the price point is a lot lower, so for example, as resellers, you might want to be able to get better deals for your customers and that kind of thing. This is only a limited time only. So do get in touch if you do have anything um, that you might have in the pipeline that you might think this would be appropriate for. So as you may be aware already, my Viewboard Digital Whiteboard is our fantastic digital whiteboarding software which resides in the cloud as here. So as well as being able to do all the fantastic new things that we've mentioned with the DAS3 feature, my view board will still enable you to open presentations, annotate, and basically interact with clients in a much nicer fashion. So for example, if I wanna to go to my individual file, what I can do is I can open my presentation and essentially use that as a little bit more of an interactive tool within my presentations and lessons and that kind of thing than if I were using it, for example, on its original file format. Once I've imported it using the inbuilt importer to myviewboard.com, as we can see here, we can shape it to the size that we need if we need to have a bit more of a plane for kind of annotations, and then we can actually do our interaction. Again, once we've used all these kind of things in the new sort of way that we're doing things, we can actually host meetings remotely. So for example, we can have a Zoom call in which we're sharing the screen and doing these presentations and lessons remotely. Now, of course, when you're doing these things remotely, one thing that you are gonna need is the ability to bridge that gap between being with people and being able to share information with people. So with my view board, just to remind you guys, it's still really, really simple to send stuff back and forward. So for example, if I'd like to send my clients some um, pieces of information, what I can do is I can send it directly to their my view board account. So not only is my view board allowing people to have great presentations, but it also allows them to interact really efficiently with clients. So what I'm doing now here is imitating what might happen as a client. I'm sending stuff directly from my device. I'll just click on my notification center. And what that will actually do is that can open each individual thing that my client may send to me. So for example, what we've got here is the ability to send stuff no matter where you are in the world, no matter what network you're on in the world, to send stuff back and forward. So for example, if we wanted to send our lesson back and forward, piece of work to our teachers, to our students, etc., or if we're working in a more corporate environment and we wanted to send something a little bit more relevant to that individual corporate structure. So all that's left to say is a huge thank you for tuning in once again. I hope you can see the value in our brilliant new Dash 3 series range. And we're looking forward to continuing to add value to your education institutions and to your corporate businesses as well. Keep well, keep safe. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll speak to you again soon.